All right, so we're going to talk about water filtration on this video. Uh, we have a Berkey filter here and an Aquarain filter. We're going to be cleaning the Aquarain, so we're going to put this little small Berkey filter away. And then we'll tell you which one we think is the best. Um, I don't think you even have to wait. It's the Berkey filter. Uh, the Aquarain, we, we, uh, we bought it first and we bought the ceramic filters, but we constantly, constantly had issues with the ceramic filters, not only with them um, cracking in the winter, like if we'd go, this is before we had our Toyo stove. So if we would go to town and, and the things in the cabin would freeze, then um, we would come back and those filters would be f cracked and frozen. Uh, so I can't say that these are any filters are any better and that they won't crack because we haven't went to town and, and left this in freezing weather. So I don't know about that, but I do know that these charcoal filters are far better in our opinion than the ceramic filters. So when you buy a Berkey filter or an Aquarain, uh, typically they'll come with four holes in your top pot. And that's the pot that leads into your filtrated water source on the bottom. Uh, you can opt for an additional two filters and that just makes the filtration speed faster. Um, but it's not necessary. And to be honest, you could probably just get away with two filters, but um, if you want water then, and you need it fast, you'll want four. So anyways, I don't have any of the ceramics left. We threw all those away, but from time to time, you'll have to, you'll build up a, a film on these filters, and so you'll have to clean them, and they provide you with just like a little Scotch-Brite scouring pad, and you just go through and, and uh, use that scouring pad and, and um, Knock off the um, knock off the sediment that's collecting on your filter, and all this does is it um, obviously there's pores in here and it it frees up the pores so it'll filter faster, and you don't want it to be clogged anyway. So that's what we're doing today is just cleaning our system up. Now we get our water from our rooftops, and uh, that's you know we've got a tin roof so it's it's fairly a clean system, but you know, you are going to have birds flying over and pooping on it and, and um, sticks from the trees blowing on top of it. So uh, that's what the filtration system's for. Could you drink the water straight out of there? Probably so, but you can see my hands. There's a little uh, gunk on here. So that's what, the, that's what the cleaning's for. So we've had these, I don't know, over a year, this, these filters, and um, we've never cleaned them before. So this is our, our first cleaning as well, but they still have been doing just fine. So when you get these filters new, uh, you'll have to prime them and it will come with a little adapter and it's best if you do it uh, in town, if you already live off grid, but if you just are having these for your um, home in town, then just go to your kitchen sink. It gives you a little adapter that you fit over the threaded end and then you take this stick it up into your faucet in your sink and turn the water on it make sure you got a pretty good seal and don't go full blast because you'll squirt a little water um, but anyways eventually you'll see beads of water start to come through your filter and uh, when you when it starts pretty much just streaming down you know you purged it and then these things are ready to be go these things are ready to go into your filtration system and they will filter the water for you now I'll leave a link so you guys can go and read how low these things filter, but uh, basically you can you can take these and and filter off filter out um, groundwater. I mean, you can filter out water that you would never want to to actually be drinking, but um, for the water that we get here from our rooftop, it's it just has some sediment pretty much, but it's fairly clean. There's no, there's no real, well, I don't want to say there's no microorganisms living because there's microorganisms everywhere, but uh, our water up on top of the roof is, is fairly clean. Uh, if you're getting your water from not a well, but just a ground source, you'll definitely want to um, take a little more 
caution with that because that can hold animal feces and, and stuff like that. So here's what the top portion looks like. It's got four holes for your filter. And we're going to just wipe this down because this, this accumulates a little bit of sediment in here too. Even though we're um, cleaning the Aquarain system, we bought the Berkey filters and we just use the Berkey filters in the Aquarain system. So now we have a Aqua, we've got a Berkey actual filter system and we've got an Aquarain system with Berkey filters. So basically it's two Berkey filters, I mean two Berkey systems. Now Boss of the Swamp has a great video on how to make this uh, just with the um, five gallon buckets and the, and the filters. But to be honest, the filters is what's expensive. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll double check and look at the prices, but I think the systems are a couple hundred bucks, 300 bucks. And the filters, if you buy four, is probably like 200 bucks. So um, you determine whether you want some stainless steel or, or some Home Depot five gallon bucket sitting in your kitchen. Either way, um, it, it, it works really well. We've never gotten sick. So we're gonna get everything put back together and show you how we test to make sure that the filters are working right. So these filters, they just have a little uh, rubber bushing here and then you stick that that on the inside, stick it into the, um, the top portion of your filtration system and then screw it through and this squishes against the bottom and that's what keeps the seal between the bad water getting in with the good water. So we're going to reassemble this now. We're going to show you how to, to test to make sure that you have a correct seal and that your filters are actually filtering and not letting any of the, the bad water in. Keeping the bad water out and letting the good water in. So you want these to be tight, but you don't want to over tighten them and strip the threads out of these because they're just plastic threads with a plastic um, nut and uh, you definitely don't want to strip them. So get them tight, but not too tight where you strip it out. So we've got all four of our filters back in place. So we're going to get this thing loaded up and ready to pour some water in the top portion of this. And we'll, like I said, we'll show you how to test it to make sure everything's working properly. So here is the bottom section. This is what the water looks like inside there. We will give you a look on the top section when we're done filling it up, but let's get this all hooked up and ready to pour some water into it. So what we do is we use a pot that fits over that lets the, the realm set on that. You can't set this straight on the ground because it's got these things here. Plus it's gonna leak some fluid because you're supposed to pour the water in, let it set for 30 seconds to a minute and filter out some impurities and then you can put it on top of your um, on top of your filter system. Now I've got some water here from our tote, a 275 gallon tote that we just collected. We'll let that set for one minute. Now you can see some of uh, some particles and stuff right now. We don't have anything super bad. We do find pine needles in here sometimes, but like I said, it filters out the big stuff and the little stuff. So what we're going to do is take some uh, red food coloring and add a few drops in. Oh, add a, <laughs> add a little too many drops. So we added some food coloring in there, some red food coloring. Red is the uh, red is the food coloring of choice because uh, it won't show up if you have uh, blue food coloring or whatnot. So it has to be red. Use just regular red food coloring and that is how you tell if your system's working. So as you can see, that looks like red Kool-Aid right now. So what comes out on the other side should just be crystal clear. Put your lid on top. And then that's pretty much it. You let that thing sit for, I don't know, an hour and then come back and you've got perfectly good drinking water. So we'll, uh, we'll, let it, we'll let it drain for an hour, filter all that stuff out, and we'll come back and see if there's any red in that water. All right, so it's been about an hour, so let's check and see how much stuff has uh, been filtered through and uh, see if we got any red in our water. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get it some light. So that is how much water has been filtered through in an hour. And that's what the water looks like inside 
the reservoir that we get our drinking water from. So the filter's working, the little rubber grommets uh, sealing the filter from any of the water getting behind it and leaking down in there. So we're good to go. Anyways, that's how we get our drinking water here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be making a different video on heating your cabin next time. See you then.